Good morning, welcome, welcome everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Chrissy, and today I'll be giving you a prediction reading for the 4th of March. But before I get started, happy birthday to me, happy birthday to me. <laughs> it's my birthday today. Um, <laughs> yes, another year older, guys. We could do without them, couldn't we? So I thought we'd all just blow this candle out, make a wish together, guys, on my birthday. I think we've all got quite a few wishes out there oh, that we'd like to put out there. Um, mm, quite a lot come to mind. I've got some other personal ones as well. So I'm just going to blow this out. So on three, we'll blow it all out together. Hey, guys, I really appreciate you guys all being on my channel too. Um, you comment all the time. You support my daily videos. It, you know, I'm this tiny little channel. So I really do appreciate so I'm going to put out there just lots of wonderful wishes and things that have been going around in my mind. So let's all do it together. You ready? One, two, three. <sighs> oh, I had to share my birthday with you. It's not a milestone birthday, guys. It's just a normal one. Actually, it's one I can deal with because I'm 58 today. So I'm not quite 60. I've still got a couple of years to go. So I might keep my birthday tiara on, guys, um, if I can. It's a little tight. It's meant for little kids' heads. So, yes, birthday. That's why I had such a big weekend on the weekend. Um, I went up the mountains on Saturday, and then on Sunday we went to the local show here in a little town not far away from where I live. And we had a great day. My son's daughter rides horses and she um she won and she got the blue ribbon it was just such a great day the weather was perfect i really enjoyed myself and then i came home and my hubby cooked me pancakes because he's really good at cooking pancakes and i asked would he make his special pancakes for me so that was my dinner last night homemade yummy yummy pancakes with all golden syrup and ice cream it was so yummy so cheers everybody i had a lovely birthday cheers everyone they creep around, don't they, these birthdays? So fingers, a few wishes come true, guys, this year. All right, let's get straight into the reading. Enough about me. Um, I haven't got much admin, guys. I've just got a tiny little bit. Um, you know how I've been telling you about the spy down here in Oz? Yes, we've got a spy in the ranks amongst the politicians. Oh, yes, there's a pol we have a political spy who's been giving information to other countries. But apparently, they've actually come out. They were going to name them. But now they've decided they're not going to name them now. There's no point, is there? So was there ever a spy? Probably not. And it already said that ACO has sorted them out. So no one needs to worry. They've already been addressed. They're not to spy anymore. <laughs> like, they make this big hoo-ha and then it's all just swept under the carpet. Nothing to see here, guys. It's all been dealt with. <laughs> just the usual in Oz. Mm hmm I mean, spy's not a problem at all when they're giving out political information, is it? Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. And the other thing, guys, apparently Chuck is still considering touring down under. He's got a tour planned, apparently. I don't know when. So he's still coming to Oz despite his cancer, which I did find a little bit bizarre. We know the uh, Royal Kardashians are keeping themselves on the world stage, but I don't think if you were, had cancer and you were getting treatment that you'd re be really up for travelling and jet lag and, I don't know, so many questions around the Royal Kardashians. Um, I can't even get started on that. It'll just be an endless loop going round and round. Um, all right, how about I close my eyes, guys? I bought my new cards again so we can do some more indigo sage cards. Uh, let's get started, guys, and we'll see what comes up. The weather's looking beautiful here, guys. Blue skies. I am on Rumble now. Please go check me out there. Uh, Chrissy Fitzgerald Psychic, all one word, no gaps in between, and all smalls, no capitals. Um, Rumble app's easy to just load up on your phone and just search me and type me in and you'll find me, I'll pop up. Um, so I'm slowly getting my head around that. Like I said, I've got to drive downtown because the 5G network is so ordinary. What was going to be an absolute amazing thing has ended up being quite pathetic, really, hasn't it? Okay. Unless you got towers right on your doorstep, which is kind of what they're wanting. Oh, that's what they're actually pushing here too, guys, uh, on the news last night. They were talking about smart meters. Get your smart meters. We know what's going on there, don't we, guys? So that's happening in Oz. Lots of smart meters coming. Mm. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, dear. All right, let's get started, guys. We'll see what comes up.
Oh, I'm getting images and like this isn't actually happening, but this is what people want to have happen. I'm seeing the stocks. You know, when I went to that prison museum here the other day, guys, they had some wooden stocks there. And all I could think of at the time, I was looking at them, you know, where you put your hands through in your head and then all the village throws tomatoes and rotten vegetables and rotten eggs and everything at you for committing a crime. This is back in the day. It's a shame they don't do it nowadays because I think it would work. Um, but I'm getting this image of all these leaders being put in the stocks and for people to just allow to have their say, meaning throw vegetables, rotten things at them for what they're currently doing to us all, which is pretty much taking us down to nothing, as we know, which is the big global agenda plan. Um, so I'm seeing a lot of these. I'm definitely seeing elbow in the stocks, Trudeau in the stocks, sushi's in the stocks. They're showing me sushi in the stocks, but he's on tippy toes because he's too short. They might even have to bring him a little crate to stand on. But I'm getting this. People, this is the little people, peasants and Lego people, just want to let loose on their government leaders. God, we want to let loose on these leaders, don't we, guys? We've had enough of this. But the people waking up, this is the people waking up. They just want to. So this is what they're relating to. The guides are saying there'll be more heckling, more abuse, more protesting is definitely coming. Um, <laughs> I was watching, I was watching a video popped up. I'm pretty sure it was in France, actually. The police, oh, I'm positive it was in France, the police and the farmers, and it was a standoff and they were pushing um, police vehicles out of the way. Anyway, it was one of these countries that's still farmer protesting, which we never see on any mainstream news. Of course we don't. Um, I'm getting that. People really want to have their say. They've had enough of being pushed around, shoved around, told what to do. And it's showing me like people are broken now. They're all broken. You know what it's relating it to? And it's relate. if you've ever seen Toy Story, I know most of you would have. If you've had kids, you've seen the movie Toy Story. And is it Sid? He's a real bad kid. He wrecks all his toys and he rips off all their arms and legs and swaps all their heads around and draws on them. And he's, he's really horrible and treats his toys really horrible in this movie Toy Story, if you haven't seen it. Most of you would have. If you haven't seen it, go and watch it. You'll love it, even as an adult. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, but this is what I'm getting. Um, and, and sort of this is in the – I think it's in the first movie – the toys, um, they sort of wake up, Buzz Lightyear and um, Woody and all that, sort of get the toys together and they all fight back against Sid. So it's kind of, this is what the image I'm getting is everyone marching towards government. Everyone marches towards Sid and I can't remember exactly what happens, but he has to like do the runner and take off because all these toys with the hobbly legs and all <laughs> heads missing and everything <laughs> come um, marching after Sid <laughs> to, because he's just... Um, damage these toys so much but this is what I'm getting people are feeling broken these are the little people and peasants they're feeling broken um, they feel like they've got like arms missing and legs missing and they're um, like being graffitied and drawn all over people just feel destroyed it, it, that's what that's what has happened over the last four years people feel like parts of them have been destroyed and I think we could all agree with that so that's what I'm getting now people like we could kind of call it in a zombie state, like the broken toys marching towards Sid, which represents government being mean, nasty, unkind, lying, all the above. Um, that's the image they're giving me. Oh, I love Toy Story. They think there's three, isn't it? I love Toy Story. It's so good. Oh, brilliant. So that's what we're getting. This is the peop the little broken people are fighting back. Oh, it's so good. And, you know, and the little farmer on the tractor as well would be amongst the toys. It's just so good. Oh, people are coming into their power, guys, this year. It's so brilliant. All right. And see, this is what I'm getting. Um, we talk a lot here about the ULES tracking systems. They're still trying to push it, apparently, in Oxford and Sheffield and places like this in the UK. But when people, see, what happens is when people start realising what it's all about. See, people just think, oh, what, well, we're going down to 20 kilometres an hour or whatever your mileage is over there for safety reasons. Or they're putting up the cameras to stop speeding and um, all this kind of thing. But then when the cogs start to, um, you know, move in the people waking up, 
they start to piece it together, guys, and they realise this isn't in their best interest because they realise it's become going to become part of the tracking and tracing system. And as we always talk about and discuss here, the 15-minute cities and 20-minute neighbourhoods, all this kind of stuff. Once people realise that, they go, hang on a minute, I don't think I want to be limited to 15 minutes. I, I don't think I want to be um, tracked and traced and um able to be shut down in my EV car. See, they'll do their research, guys. So sit back and keep enjoying the clown show because there's plenty more to come this year, guys. Can you believe we're in March? It's mad. What's going to happen March, April? I still reckon UK is going to stand up. You yeah, are. Ah, the vibrations raising. Um, all right, let's keep going. I just keep knowing that people are waking, guys. Their eyes are getting wider. I always say about the bug eyes, it's a shock. When you start realising that your government and everyone's, well, mainstream media does come to mind, has been lying to you for four years. Mm. Oh, and Trudeau's being caught out too, guys. I did see something about, um, you were mentioning, some of you were mentioning about Pierre Polidaire. I think it was you, Sue. And I did notice that. I've got to go back and watch that video. But there was a video about Trudeau and how he's had people working. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. With Wuhan. Because <laughs> remember Zeeping and Trudeau BFFs, remember? They're very best friends. Um, <laughs> so a lot is coming out about Trudeau, guys. So don't worry because it's starting to wake other people up in China. We call Canada China here if you're new. Um, in China. People are starting to see all the old corruption and how the old global elites are only filling up their own pockets. I mean, look at Biden. He's splashing money around every other country but his own. Oh, it's such a joke. It's such a joke. Feeding all the people in Gaza. Mm, unbelievable. The migrant thing still does my head in, guys. I know it would if you were living in America. I bet you're so infuriated about that migrant thing. Migrant um, Mexican border. Well, I call it the Mexican border gate scandal, but to just let people in willy nilly when we were all not allowed to cross one border because we were unjabbed for two years. I couldn't see my family for two years. I know that happened with a lot of you guys as well. Like zero of this makes any sense to anyone. Um, okay. I'm still getting Brazil. Brazil's still fighting back. It's shown me them like pouring towards that statue in, is it Rio de Janeiro, the big white statue? Um, is that Jesus? I think it is. It looks the shape of Jesus. Um, I'm just getting, seeing seas of people just coming together, coming together in Brazil. Oh, it's so good. Oh, what's around Brazil? We need all the other places to stand up as well. All right, hang on. I'm seeing um, China, which we call Panda here on YouTube. Um, Panda's coming for people now, coming for countries. They're, it's showing me they're doing their inventory of resources, commodities, trading. And anyone who's not complying with their wishes, they just cross off. This is what I'm getting. It's probably more the little countries. They're just eliminating. If you don't come on board with us, then we'll just delete you off our list. Um, I am getting that. He's a very cold, I think we would agree, Xi Ping's a very cold, callous, uncaring person. Um, he's only ever got his best interest, the best interests of Panda in his mind. Um, whatever's going to build his empire and give him more and more strength. Because as we know here, he wants to be on the global world stage. Top of the global world stage. He wants to be right up there, Xi Ping. He's been working on this goal for a few years now. Um, so this year he's really going to be scratching countries off, eliminating countries, um, jumping on board with other countries who really support his mm, lovely communist regime. Um, look out, bloody China over there. You better get rid of that bloody Trudeau soon. <laughs> he has to go. Trudeau must go. We keep getting that saying, don't we? Oh, but I am getting that. He's... he's He's really building up his resource power, Zeping. 
Um, and this is where it's frustrating because they buy a lot of other countries. So I told you guys that China's bought heaps of Australia and we know how it goes because they've got the money to do all the wheeling and dealing. And we know people like Elbow just sell us off. They don't care. They've got no sort of... Um, well, they know they're going to retire and take off and have their money. They don't really care about the little people's future, do they? Well, Elbow doesn't, obviously, if that's what we're getting. Um, all right, let's keep going. I'm getting Germany again. Germany's not failing. They've had huge fightbacks, huge farmer protests. We're seeing zero, of course we are, um, on mainstream media. Oh, excuse me, guys. Birthday Bert. <laughs> um, God, you'd think I'd been on the champagne, wouldn't you guys? Um, I don't drink, though. I don't drink, so I'm having coffee for my birthday. I drink, I drink like, cordial and stuff. I just don't drink alcohol. Um... Because I like to keep a clear mind, guys. I like to keep a clear thinking mind. Um, it doesn't worry me if anyone does drink alcohol. I used to drink alcohol. Um, where are we getting back to? Hang on a minute. I've got to go back in my thoughts. Oh, Germany. Germany. Germany isn't failing. They keep moving forward. It's like they're taking these little steps forward all the time in Germany. It's so good. They're keeping themselves very grounded. Like they're not leaping and rushing things. They're doing things in a nice, methodical way and keeping their feet grounded in Germany. They're still going. Oh, if only we saw this on mainstream media, guys. Mm. Okay. Getting it again. England's rising. Oh, England's rising. Oh, it has to. You have to. I can't keep getting it for this long. Patience, patience. We said like March, April. All right. I'm still feeling like I'm getting that the, the gay community, you know, like the gay men and women and lesbians and all this kind of thing, I still feel they're getting frustrated by the LGBTIQ plus community. What's What's, what even the hell? They keep adding things to it. Um, and and I, I understand that because it's almost like their rainbow got stolen from them. I always say that. It's like they got put into this big group, this big mixed group, but they don't want to be in that mixed group. They want to have their own identity. I still feel like they're a bit frustrated by all of this because now with all this transgender stuff, um, it's kind of saying to me the lines are getting very blurred and it's frustrating a lot of um, gay people. I'm just keep getting that. The lines are getting blurred. And you think about um, some of the negative publicity with the Budweiser and the silly, ridiculous, oh, they're men in sports. Let's face it. They're not all transgender. Half of them haven't even um, changed. Half of them are just putting a dress on and saying, I now identify as a woman. Like it's got a little beyond a joke and we know it's really opened that door to more pedophilia etc um and creepy perverts and all this kind of thing we know it has um because there seems to be nothing going the other way there's no women going into the men's locker rooms that are now putting on men's clothes and saying they're a man imagine if that happened <laughs> oh god that'd be just scary and horrifying wouldn't it not to mention unsafe um so I'm getting this. There's this, still this confusion. They feel like they're, um, well, it sort of feels to me like everything they fought for has been made a mockery of. Not everyone thinks that way, but there's a lot that do. They feel like they've been made a mockery of and now they're sort of becoming a bit of a joke again and they don't like it. I do, I do understand that because they really fought hard. To, to be able to get married, we talked about this the other day, and things like this, um, and finally be acknowledged. Be able to walk down the street as a couple, these kind of things. That, that was a hard slog for these people. And now um, it's like they're being, well, I guess you could say tarred with the same brush, isn't it? They're getting put into the, I don't even know what the category is, to be honest. But they're a bit frustrated still by that. They don't know why their rainbow and their 
well, their symbol, their identity kind of got stolen and just categorized with all this mush over here of, well, they're saying drag queens, like everything. Like they sort of feel like couldn't that be a separate thing? See, most people do not have an issue with anyone who transitions. You know, most people are really good. We accept that there's a drag queen industry, but you know, we know people like Trudeau are over pushing it and they're reading stories to little kids and it's all being very normalized, isn't it? Um, I don't know. I guess it's just a personal thing. I don't have issues with it, but I do think kids find, and I, I know a lot of you feel the same, kids finding their identity in their young years and teenage years is very hard at the best of times. We've all been there. Um, let alone when you're trying to work out. Uh, and now there's more things coming out. I was talking to my daughter the other day, guys, because we were talking about how, because she's homeschooled and how she got a bit bullied and she didn't know where she fitted in. She didn't fit into the LGBTQ. She didn't fit in there. Um, she's an artist and she's fairly bright. So, you know, she wanted to learn and she was good at art, which makes you different anyway. Um, and she just didn't know where she fitted in. And then the other day she was telling me all about this pan, there's pan, is it? And then there's non-binary. and But now there's all these other words too. I suppose they're to do with when you're a furry or you're a cat or whatever you're identifying as. So there's there's more and more, I'm telling you, of these things coming out because she talks to me about it. And I'm like, what? What do you mean there's more things? So the list just goes on and on, guys. It's growing. The LGBTIQ... Um, K or a C rather for cat or F for furry, probably they'll add on the end. I don't even know. The world is just going mad. It is. It's going completely mad. I mean, the kitty litters in the schools just says it all, doesn't it? Oh my goodness. All right, let's see if there's anything else. You know, my videos are for entertainment purposes only, guys. Take from them what you choose. All right. Okay, I'm getting Spain. Uh, fight back stand-ups. Spain, people in Spain are getting very frustrated now. Uh, I'm getting this like animalistic energy. I know we got the running of the bulls and we have all that kind of stuff when I think of Spain and bull fights and all that. But there's this hostility rising up in people in Spain. It's got to be spewed out somewhere. So I'm guessing it's going to be the old fighting against government. I am getting that for Spain. Probably protests, I'd say. Could be cost of living. We know that's a massive one, cost of living. And also it could even be crime in Spain. Crime might be really on the rise like crazy, like most places. Mm. All right. Still getting crop circles. We've had that a fair bit this year that we might start getting crop circles. Ooh, which will look like a spaceship has landed. A little bit like the moon landings, isn't it? A bit mysterious. We could put these in the X-Files, the crop circles. I keep saying we're doing our X-Files, Mulder and Scully um, work this year and having to file everything to pull out at a later date so we can piece everything together because it's all higgledy-piggledy. I think I was saying it was like a deconstructed apple pie this year that everything's like all over the place just to confuse the little people. And it's working very well, I have to say. Um, actually, there's more talk of the moon. They're talking about America, um, something about America and the moon. I'll find out more about it, guys. But I was like, oh, they're not going to show us the bloody Indian, bloody Japanese spaceship again that's landed on all the moon. Like my girlfriend and I always say, I was watching, actually, you know us conspiracy theorists, we can't help ourselves. I was watching the moon landing, some of the moon landing videos the other day, um, about, um, oh, what were they? I was watching some moon landings the other day. Sorry, my hubby just is ringing me. Some moon landings the other day. And um, there was no stars behind. Uh, and my girlfriend and I were talking about it, Sandy, the, my dog whisperer that's awake, and we were saying, well, who's taking all the footage? Who's filming them landing on the moon? Like, if they're both jumping around, who's doing all the film? Was it a setup? tripod you know you gotta wonder about all this stuff there's just so many endless and the body language i was watching the body language of neil armstrong and those guys as well unbelievable unbelievable 
they were looking down. I mean, really, they kind of carried that to their death, didn't they? And, and one of them did have a cryptic message about the truth or something. So go watch some of those videos, guys. It's really interesting. I love body language. I'll leave a body language video over here. I find it really fascinating. Um, so, you know, so many, so many things have been well covered up in the past, I would dare say. And I think the moon landing could be one of them, guys. <laughs> and a lot of people now are talking about, is the earth round or flat again? <laughs> oh, it just goes on and on, doesn't it, guys? Right, I'll see just one more thing and then we'll pull some cards. I'm getting India. India's in a terrible state. I feel like they're, well, they're overpopulated. We know that and extremely hot, which I'm sure viruses and disease would thrive in. Um, I'm getting a lot of panic, a lot of disease, a lot of viruses. Um, and the cost of living now is really starting to, um, it's saying destroy India. I feel like, well, there would clearly be a lot of population control going on in India, wouldn't there? Um, I am getting that. There's a lot of mysterious diseases and viruses going around there at the moment in India. Big population decrease. Mm, no surprises for us there, is there? Um... I do feel like Modi is, like, trying to clean up India. He's trying to work through the slums. They call them slums, don't they, over there? I feel like they're trying to segregate. Oh, just... Mm. Although I think most people in India are pretty poor anyway, aren't they? But I am seeing this extreme... I'm seeing, like, Modi and all his wealthy mates and all that up here... And the little people just going further, further, further down um, into survival mode. That's what I'm seeing for India. It is very overpopulated and there is a real lack of food and water and hygiene kind of thing. So I'm just seeing a lot happening in India. A lot of not not great things this year. Because um, there's no way you could stop a virus from just coming through. You know, it's almost showing me like plague, like remember the Black Plague and all these kind of things. It's almost showing me like it'll take a chunk of the population, sadly. Probably a lot of the elderly too who can't cope with viruses. They get very sick. I am seeing that for India, as we know, population control. The, the viruses seem to do that, don't they? Sadly, take a few people out. Um... All right, how about we pull some cards, guys? I think I'm all distracted because it's my birthday. Yes, it's my turn today, guys. Indigo Sage, let's pull a couple of my new cards. Hang on, we got one, the three we got yesterday. Let's put them over there. All right, I'm pretty much... Let's put the glasses on because the writing's very small. Let me just shuffle. These are really pretty, these cards, aren't they? They're beautiful. Ooh, they're jumping out. Oh, this is cute. Oh, we got a wren. Look. Shake off the past. <laughs> oh, we could shake it off. Shake it off to Taylor Swift song, like Elbow was the other day. As you are showered with blessings today, praise all phenomena of freshness. So we're all going to be showered with blessings today. Isn't that beautiful? Praise all phenomena of freshness. And it is, when you awaken, you see life through fresh eyes. You do. Everything changes. You just see the beauty in so many beautiful things that you probably never noticed before. That's the one thing that really has, um, well, changed for us. Oh, it's this one. Looks like, what is that? I'm not quite sure what that is. Oh. Meditate in joy. Your heart can hear the rhythm of Gaia. Let the beat eternally dance on your breath. Again, meditation. Slowing your mind down, being very present. Hearing that beat of your breath and your heart sort of connecting together. Slowing everything down. Let the beat eternally dance on your breath. 
the beat. We always talk about vibration and beat of songs, things like this, don't we, constantly? Oh, this is nice. We've got a palm tree. That's very tropical. I think of California when I see things like that. You are deeply loved. Be silently present with old trees. Earth has magical energy for your healing. We've already learnt that here, haven't we? That's one thing when I was up the mountains the other day. I just kept looking at the old trees. The old trees, you know, they're incredible. I was looking at one and it had a tree trunk, like massive. The tree wasn't huge. Well, it was big. But I just kept looking at the tree trunk. I just, I love trees. Trees have such an incredible energy. I know you guys really appreciate nature as well because we know the healing qualities of being outside in nature. Not in the metaverse and not with our ProVision goggles on. Um, we know the healing. That's why I bring so much, so many plants and things into my um, home because I just love that vibrational energy and the greenery and it's a vibration. See, we even know colour has vibration. We've been talking about that as well. All right, let me see if there's anything to finish off for my birthday today. Oh, they're giving us some of my favourite songs, guys, which there's so many. It would be a very long list. I'm getting that All I Want Is You by U2. I love that song. Again, we're getting the circus tent. Remember the little trape the little um, short stature fellow fell in love with the trapeze artist? It's such a great film clip. It's a black and white film clip. Love that song. It's one of my all-time favourites. Love that song. Um, all I Want Is You. Hang on. Oh, I'm getting a song by, <laughs> oh, you know how hopeless I am, guys? It's by Coldplay. I really love this song. I'm trying to think. I think it's The Clocks. The Clocks. It's not The Scientist. I'm pretty sure it's The Clocks. Go and listen to the, I'm sure it's The Clocks. Oh, I love Coldplay. I do love Coldplay. Um, I'm getting those. Well, we can play both, actually. All right, let's see if there's anything else. I'm getting my favourites today. We're getting Stairway to Heaven by Led Zeppelin. Oh, I love that song. Oh, I've always loved that song. Oh, I really do love that song. Oh, hang on. So, Stairway to Heaven, because we're still climbing, going through our spiritual awakening, doing our spiritual masters, growing, expanding, evolving into who we really are. We continue to do that this year. Um, let me see if there's anything more. Oh, I'm getting that song by Elvis Presley. <laughs> this is a cool song. A little less conversation, a little more action, please. No one's out of sight, there's satisfaction indeed. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. I think that's my song to get people waking up. A little less conversation, a little more action, please. I don't know what the song's called. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> but I'm getting that song today. I do love that song by Elvis. It's good, isn't it? If you haven't seen the movie Elvis on Netflix, go check it out. That guy is unbelievable in that. He he played such a great role. Gives you a really different perspective of Elvis's life, actually. It was, it was really good. Um, oh, look at me and my Chrissy playlist today. Hang on a minute. Oh, yeah, we're getting Running Up That Hill by Kate Bush. Oh, because I love Stranger Things, and I just love that song. Um... So I'm getting that song, surely. Oh, my God, we're getting so much music today. Hang on, guys. I think there's more coming. Hang on. I'll see if there's one more, and then we'll have to finish up. Oh, of course, I'm getting Barbara Streisand, The Way We Were. Oh, The Way We Were. Oh, I love that song. It makes me all emotional. I do love Barbara Streisand. Oh, now they're giving me that one with Barry Gibb. Um, Guilty. I love that, too, because I love the Bee Gees, you know, that I do. And, and the guys are going to finish off with this song today. And I think we all know what it's going to be. Mm, the song for our channel. And the guys are saying, um, oh, this song makes me really emotional, guys. Because we've come so far. I feel really emotional. We've just come so far in the last four years. You know, we thought 
we just got so lost sometimes and, and now we've really found our way back and we feel energized, we're feeling um, more whole and complete, we feel freedom despite all the chaos and crap going on around us and the guides are leaving us with that song that I really love and they really love and they feed it to you constantly. Josh Groban's You Raise Me Up So I Can Stand on Mountains. And the guides are saying to you, they're still raising us all up so we can stand on mountains. An absolutely gorgeous song. He's got an incredible voice. Um, the guides are saying they want you to manifest something too this week. Hang on. Um, just wait. They're showing me a big star, like a not a normal size, like not a little star. They're showing me like a big star, um, just a big yellow star. It, oh, that's what the guys are saying, like we're the star. We're the star of our own show. Actually, I won't leave your body language. I'm going to leave you a video here about being the star of your own show. That's why we're getting the star. It can be any kind of star, guys, but really it's about you. Because <laughs> when you see your star any kind of star um it's it's gonna let you know that you've you've really found yourself you're on your path and that you are the star of your own show and look what you've created a star so go and find your stars today guys um but it's saying like a big star not a tiny weeny star it's gonna be pretty big you're gonna see a big star we're gonna put that out there guys but it represents you are the star of your own show <laughs> which we are. We know that now, don't we, guys? All right, I'm going to say goodbye from Australia. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Take care, and I will talk to you very soon. Don't forget, like buttons, please comment, subscribe, and I will see you over on Rumble as well. I'll try and make one today. Take care, everyone, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Happy birthday to me.